Welcome to a new vlog. It is currently a lot late in the afternoon. It is currently 2.31 p.m. Also Tuesday, May the 5th, also known as Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo, or you guys are watching this on a Wednesday, so happy Wednesday. I'm currently right now about to eat a snack. I have some hummus and some pita chips here in my bed, and I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder. I don't really have anything going on today, which is why I'm starting the vlog so late. I woke up this morning around 8, which was like the earliest I have been up in a while. I got up and Recently, I put on a workout outfit. I went for a run. I walked my dog. I did a workout for an hour and my legs are absolutely killing me. I feel like I just got back from cheer camp. If any of my cheerleaders are out there and know, when you go to cheer camp and after that day one and then you wake up the next morning for day two and your muscles are so sore, like it hurts to bend down to pick up anything. Tomorrow it'll hopefully be better once I walk. But I did that all this morning. I'm also filming a main channel video today which is also why I think I haven't been vlogging because I'm so focused on getting the shots for that video to go up this week. And yeah, this is pretty much all I have going on right now. It's just watching Netflix and eating pita chips. I just got news yesterday that my job is opening back up next week. So this is, I say, unfortunately, my last week of quarantine, which I mean, I'm actually kind of excited because towards the end, if you can tell, it's definitely mellowing out and I'm like starting to struggle with finding things to do. I did all my projects that I wanted to do and now I'm just like filling my time with Netflix and drawing and reading which is perfectly fine, but it's not very vlog worthy Although I did get a recommendation that I should talk about the books I read and maybe do like a drawing with me video Which I think would be fun. I've never done anything like that But I'm definitely open to expanding the type of content I'm making so I actually did finish my butterfly drawing if any of you guys watched my main channel video I did a 10 things to do in quarantine I'll have a link down below if you haven't but one of them was drawing and coloring and I showed like the starting process of me drawing drawing like this butterfly picture I found on Pinterest and I finished it the other day. So let me go grab it to show you. Here is the finished product. I drew this. I actually like hand drew it. I'll put the picture on the screen of what I was obviously copying and drawing inspiration from. I hand drew the butterflies and then I went in and colored and outlined and wrote the words and I think it came out pretty good. Tell me that's not too shabby. Not too bad. I don't think anyone would believe me though if I said I actually drew this. I'm still trying to figure out what to draw next. But yeah, I'm going back to work next week. Like, that's so weird to think like I've been home not working and just doing what I want for about a month now and it feels great. I've learned a lot from this quarantine for sure. Like, I learned that I enjoy working for myself even though like I'm not, let's say, making the same amount of money that I make going to actual work and it's definitely not enough to be like sufficient to put all of my eggs into one basket, but I definitely enjoy it. Like I like having the free time. I like being able to make my own schedule. And if anything, it gave me hope and kind of like a peek into my future because like that's all I want to do is just like be my own boss and just run my own business and be able to do things like how I want, when I want on my own schedule and be able to work from home in the future. So it gave me like a kick in the ass, like a little inspiration to keep going and definitely work harder to make more time for things that I like. I guess we can go ahead and like have our little talk now about quarantine because I said I wanted to talk about quarantine in like a nicer way than most people have been talking about it. I don't know. I am very thankful for this quarantine. I think it's really weird how things happen for a reason and in the way that things happen because prior to this all happening and before covid was even like a thing i would go to work all the time and i'm not even kidding like during my whole entire like nine and a half hour shift like i'm just constantly thinking about like if i wasn't here what would i be doing like i just wish i had more time i just want to be able to wake up and like do what i want practice living the life that i hope to have like, i was constantly begging and writing about this in my manifestation journal basically asking for any little bit of a sign that like this is like I'm doing the right thing here and then all of a sudden we get put in a lockdown where we can't go out we can't go to work I was given this opportunity in such a weird way that you know like it's weird that it's happening during a pandemic like that's very unfortunate like I don't like that it had to happen this way but it is weird how it did happen it gave me a month to kind of like try it out like I felt like my wish was finally granted even though it's under like the worst circumstances and I really took advantage of like this month off of just like wow like this is my chance to practice living a lifestyle that I really hope to have one day now that it's the end of it and we're slowly getting back to normal I don't know like it was the kick in the ass I needed I'm so stubborn when it comes to like goals and like ambitions and stuff I don't want to give up on my goals 
in my dreams especially when like I feel like they're so unattainable for me and I can visualize it so easily like I don't want to be that person to like say they never tried hard enough or they never really went for it we're getting like really personal here one of my number one fears is like growing up and like living a life I didn't imagine for myself in like a negative way I just have a very specific vision of what I see my future being and I'm scared of not living up to that there are so many times where I like come close to like wanting to give up on certain stuff because I'm like well it's been this long and nothing has come out of it and like maybe it's just not the right time for me or like maybe this is not what I was meant to do even though I like I know I have the potential and the drive to like do things like I know I would be great at so many things I get close to giving up and then something like this happens and it just like gave me that inspiration of like no do not give up like this is so attainable like you can have anything you want in life as long as you work for it and you're willing to put in the work and sacrifice this was just like everything i needed to remind me that like i am doing the right thing here it is what i wanted because also for a long time i was like well do i even want to be able to work from home like would i even enjoy being my own boss i'm such a people pleaser that i know that i would make like a great assistant or a great employee so like i know i would be great working under someone because i already have done that and every experience that i've had working for someone has been great and now that i have you know tested it out and tried it like obviously like this isn't even like to the extremes of like what i actually want but like it definitely has like a little teaser this has probably been the first month i have been this consistent with uploading in so long going through my channels and seeing the content that i'm making now compared to like content that i've been trying to make over the past year like you can tell i like feel more in touch with myself and like more in touch with like what i'm wanting to do here all my vlogs and content for like the past one to two years has been so all over the place like i barely vlogged anything of 2019 and like that was probably one of my biggest regrets but i think 2019 was just a very like growing transformation year for me mentally honestly and i was just like going through stuff like friend stuff and drama and going through experiences that i've never had i was just learning how to like deal with it all and at the same time i felt like i was just living life and not worrying about posting things on the internet i don't know i feel like life made a full circle towards the end of 2019 and like now i feel more myself than ever and i feel very confident to like take on anything i want like i don't know what i'm trying to say is i think quarantine was very good for me i'm coming out of quarantine with a clearer idea of like what it is i need to do now to like ensure that i'm gonna have the future i want and that i aspire to have i still have like three more semesters of college so whatever i graduate whenever i graduate honestly don't know at this point whenever i graduate in a year from now um i hope to be in a place to where i can make that decision of like wanting to go off on my own and work for myself the camera's falling which is a sign that i probably need to wrap this up i think it's gonna make me work a lot harder in my free time because now that i i mean i only work three days a week i don't know why i'm acting like i have a full-time job three days a week honestly from what i'm used to this whole seven day a week schedule that i've been having for myself it's gonna have to be something i adjust to again which is so weird to think about that like going to work Tuesday to Thursday is like my usual routine and I had to like adapt to not doing that and now I have to adapt to going back. I'm excited to see my coworkers. obviously like I love going to work because it's like a social aspect that I need. I get to see my coworkers and hang out with them. We're all friends so it's great. I get to interact with customers and like that's something I obviously don't get working from home and like working on my videos. I think when I'm not there and I am here I'm gonna appreciate the time that I have here off to myself to work a lot harder. Stoked to see where things go and to see if I obviously keep up this momentum of vlogging and uploading all the time. I think for the vlogs, I'm gonna obviously continue to post two videos a week minimum. I'm, I wanna try to post three times a week, but obviously sometimes it doesn't work. Two times a week for sure is gonna be the commitment. I don't really have like specific upload days because I don't like to pressure myself into like getting a video up by a certain day because it's very easy for me to think that if I don't upload on the day I said I was going to, I feel like a failure and then I like spiral so I don't want to commit to any specific days yet but I'm sure you guys have been seeing a pattern in the vlogs wink wink of what days I feel most comfortable uploading on as for my main channel I'm gonna continue obviously posting one video a week working on content over there if you guys want to suggest any content you'd like to see on the main channel then comment down below or go over to the channel and comment over there that pretty much sums up everything as to why I'm thankful for this quarantine. I don't know exactly where else is like still doing a lockdown. Florida just raised it like I think yesterday or the day before. So let me know if you guys are still in quarantine or if you're still in lockdown. I think 
California has like another month of doing it but as for where I live we are slowly starting to open up everything again that is what I wanted to kind of sit and talk to you guys about that was unexpected I did not plan on talking about that right now but I'm gonna go and watch my show and eat my chips and we'll figure out where we go for the rest of the day I'll probably vlog my family having dinner since it's Cinco de Mayo also known as Cinco de Drinko. So it is now a lot later. It is like, I think a little past six o'clock. I've honestly have just spent all day in bed back and forth reading and watching my Netflix show. I decided to try out some yoga because my body is literally so sore. I'm gonna do some yoga to hopefully stretch out my muscles and then that way I won't wake up too sore tomorrow. But I also have never done yoga. So this is like a first time attempt. I figured we would vlog this since I've never done yoga before. Oh dear God. At home yoga. All right, I'm gonna have the video that I'm watching linked down below. Yoga with Cassandra.